Hello and welcome to the amazing world of children's television. Uh, my name's Mark Silk, I'm a voice actor, and this room is filled with stuff that I'm either in or stuff I grew up and influenced me. This is a little fella called Bumble from Fifi and the Flower Tots. Look at this model. This was made by McKinnon Saunders, who are incredible puppet model makers for stop motion animation. Well, I'm the grandson of uh, Anne Hogarth, who was the one who used to pull the strings of Muffin and Mule back in 1946. And uh, my grandfather, Jan Bussell, was the person who actually produced the shows. So the Herbert actually gave me a call and said, you know, would I like to donate, you know, doing this fantastic exhibition. And, you know, it seemed the right thing to do because he was such a key person um, in TV, uh, to start TV off, because yeah. he was one of the first ones there in 1946 and um, at Alexandra Palace, so very, very exciting. I mean, for me, seeing some of the cartoon cells on the wall, so anything from Super Ted to Danger Mouse, all those have been great. And also the, the toys. There's a, a rack of toys where there's about 20 toys, so anything from He-Man uh, to uh, Battle Cat, all the ones that you used to play with really brings back a lot of memories. There is an original animation cell, the original painted cell and background from Mr. Ben. And again, if you're a kid of the 70s, you'll know Mr. Ben, and that's, that's lovely to see that. This one, that's from my collection, but I've, I've loaned them this because it's, it's just worth sharing. This is Dig Tarsidly, Muttley, you stickly hound, do something! <laughs> that's again an original animation cell from Hanna Barbera in, uh, in Hollywood. <laughs> this is great. Look at that. Now that's what TV cameras used to look like. I really like the, seeing the Blue Peter things, especially the Blue Peter badges. Uh, I think because I really wanted one when I was a fan of the show as a kid, but I never ever got one. So it's nice to see those for real. It's a morph. Morph, morph first appeared on Take Heart in 1977. There he is. I really like, and I really like City Sweep and Sue. I played on it with my friend Ned, and I was Sue, and he was um, Sweep. Look, it's really creepy in here, Scoob old pal. Right, Scoob? Yeah, yeah. Scooby dooby doo. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very lucky that I can repeat Parker. He's in my DNA, in my vocal DNA. He was created uh, well over 50 years ago, and they kindly asked me back to reprise the character in the new series. I think everybody who loves children's television will love the exhibition, especially the children. I saw one little girl jumping up and down with joy, which is lovely to see. 